before the holiday season overwhelms us. How about buying yourself a present? Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. Right now, for one week only, you can get two reports for $52. Two for $52. That's almost $18 off the normal price. So buy yourself a gift that keeps on giving at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, producer, and welcome now to Tuesday. Cloudy, private, and introverted today. It's really a spiritual day for the bulls. The moon is in Aries, shifting emotional focus to your subconscious. So your emotions are very aware of your subconscious feelings about certain things. So if you find yourself super triggered about something, or you're having some wicked int intense dreams, or if you're just kind of detached, it's because your emotions are focused on the inner reality. This is an excellent time to get spiritual. It's an excellent time to connect to your faith. This is also an excellent time for your weeds to haunt you. So if you're feeling haunted by your weeds, well, you need to do some meditation, connect to your higher self. You're disconnected from source, and that is what the moon is revealing to you today. But really, I think it's a revelation about trust. We're in chapter 3 of Sun in Sagittarius. Uranus is ruling the day, and I predict a breakdown breakthrough for Tauruses in how they trust. Trust themselves, trust their lives, trust others, and of course, the big one, the big I, intimacy. Your capacity to connect to others which is directly related to your capacity to be honest with yourself, by the way. We can't open the doors if we don't know what's behind the doors. And considering the moon's in Aries, you might be exploring some of that. But I do predict a breakthrough. Now, yesterday, that was a big, powerful day that might have pushed you to this point. This might be the point, or this might be a bigger point built on yesterday. But I do think that whatever you come to terms with when it comes to trusting yourself, I mean, that's really what it comes down to, trusting yourself, which means you know your own boundaries, you know your own limitations, and you're living by them. I think this trust is a foundation that's going to carry you through the 2010s. I think this is a profound moment for Tauruses indeed. And Mercury is retrograde. So realize that a lot of truths are coming to the surface right now about what you believe or about what others believe that are normally hidden. When Mercury retrogrades, thoughts that don't become words come out as words. Okay? <clears throat> People say what they actually mean during this time by accident. And in your case, it reflects on what you believe in. You might have some truths come to the surface that deal with beliefs. I always believed that, uh, that dad was working two jobs. Turned out he had a second wife. You could have that kind of revelation come as well. But the point is, is that you believe differently as of what comes out of it. And for the next five days or so, a lot of truths will be coming to the surface that help you believe and think differently. <clears throat> and it's Tuesday. We've got an episode of Just Ask Us with Lauren Serafin and Angelo Eros. A soul gardener writes in today who's having an affair with his older Taurus boss. Oh, some Taurus out there having a little fun with a younger employee. We'll see what Lauren and Angela have to say about this and the light work involved. They are live everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for Tuesday, but tomorrow an important realization and maybe announcement. Until then, live, love, be. Soul Garden.